During the flight of Gemini 9, three months later, Gene Cernan becomes the second American to walk in space. The plan is for him to test the new astronaut maneuvering unit, which Dave Scott would have tested on the previous flight, but Cernan encounters problems on his spacewalk. He has trouble maneuvering around the spacecraft and can't get the AMU strapped on. His helmet visor fogs and he sweats profusely. Ed White had made spacewalking look easy on Gemini 4, but all he did was float around. When Cernan tried to do work, he only wore himself out. Handholds had been placed around the spacecraft after White spacewalk, but there were not enough of them. Cernan's heart rate skyrockets to 195 beats a minute. Inside the spacecraft, Tom Stafford fears that Cernan might not be able to get back in. If this happens, Stafford would have to either cut him loose or re-enter the atmosphere with him still drifting outside the spacecraft. Fortunately, Cernan is able to get back in and close the hatch. The two return safely, and when Cernan's suit is flown back to the Johnson Space Center, a pound of water is found in each of his boots from perspiration.